Hi friends, thanks so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a mix of things, so definitely a more casual style video, but I have a little bit of cleaning to do, so I'll give you some cleaning motivation, although it's not going to be the whole entire video, um, because I also want to share with you guys an update on where we are at with our bedroom makeover. I have had several of you ask about how that's going and I'm really excited about it. Excited about the progress we've made, even if it is, if it has been slow progress, but progress nonetheless. So I'll share with you what our plans are going forward. And um, also I have a little mini clothing try on haul that I'll share with you guys. So make sure you um, keep watching till the end. If you you're interested in seeing that but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope everyone is doing well and let's get right into it oh such a good girl where's the paw where's the paw where's the paw go get the paw where's the paw bear you want to play ball you're gonna help me clean so here is my mess of a house starting with the family room give you an idea of how messy things can get here. And then my kitchen, also a disaster. I've got clothes to put away. I have a bunch of food mess to take care of, um, but I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this today. I'm gonna give myself just 20 minutes to do like a quick speed clean and just get as much done as I can. But I, got, I just got back from the orthodontist and got my new set of trays for Invisalign. I shared with you guys over on Instagram weeks ago um, when I first got it and I've had them for seven weeks now. So I'm on week eight and so far so good. So if any of you are interested in hearing about that experience, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I'll talk about that in a future video. Um, but I am just going to get busy and get as much straightened up here as I can, so feel free to clean along with me. Tell 
Now for the bedroom update and I have to give all the credit to my husband. He pretty much has done this all on his own. I have helped where I can but he is just so handy and he saves us tons of money. He works on these projects during what little spare time he has given his demanding job and I am beyond grateful. So I'm standing in the corner to give you a good view of the whole bedroom here but excuse the patchy paint on the wall we are testing colors and I think I've narrowed it down but before I get into that let me insert a before picture so you can see what this bedroom looked like to begin with and obviously what we've done is added the board and batten so it's these boards and the trim on the base as well as the crown molding above and this is what the crown molding looks like it's really pretty it's just like this simple but curved crown molding and i like that it's really tall i think that's like a five inch crown and then it has the flat board um he put the flat board first and then put the crown on top of it and then this is what the door frame looks like and then this is the opposite side of the room we're going to have the TV in this area. Um, I don't think we're going to attach it to the wall though. I think what I want to do is get like a dresser or, or console that I can use for storage as well as have the TV set on top of that. And then I'm kind of thinking about putting a desk in that area. And then we're going to have like a sitting area where I'll get two sitting chairs and have either a table or ottoman in the middle um, because we do have quite a bit of space between the end of the bed here and that wall so um, but we are going to swap out that pitiful light fixture and and uh, replace it with a chandelier and I'll show you what I have in mind for that but we're gonna paint the ceiling white and then the walls I'm really torn guys but I am so tempted to go with a blue I don't know why I'm just really drawn to this blue color it almost has almost a green blue gray shade to it all mixed in one uh, but we originally started with this blue sample here and i felt like it just was way too i don't know it just looked too bright to me um so this is what we're considering is this blue here although i'm really scared to pull the trigger because i'm usually go with very neutral um white very beigey colors so this would be something very more on the daring side for me but if anyone's interested, that is the Sherwin-Williams uh, Stardew is the name of the paint. We're actually going to paint the trim and the wall the same color. So this will all be either white if we go with white or blue if we go with this blue color. And then the ceiling will keep, well we will paint that white. I also made another change that I kind of shared, well I did share on Instagram. I painted our windows panes black. And I'll insert a before picture, but I have to say I'm loving it. I just love that more modern look that it brings. So I painted both the windows black and I'm loving it. And I'm tempted to paint the windows in the family room black as well, but we will see. It was actually more of a, it was a bigger job than I anticipated. So I'm not quite sure. And finally, I don't know if we are going to do wood floor in here or carpet. 
I know I originally said carpet and I'm still leaning that way, but we love wood floors. Our only hang up in the wood floors is um, we want to stay true to the same color we did downstairs. And, but I don't want to go with that exact same flooring because I don't really like that flooring we have on the first floor. It's just not a real high quality. So we're a little torn what to do up here for the flooring, but we're definitely going to be replacing it. So stay tuned, but let me know what you guys think about the blue on the walls. I, I personally, I'm really loving it and I'm thinking that it's probably the color we're going to go with, but stay tuned. So I thought I would share with you on my computer here some of the light fixtures that I'm considering. I've been shopping online on Overstock, Wayfair, uh, Joss and Main, just looking for that perfect light fixture. But one thing that really helps me to uh, make design decisions is to create vision boards. And I used to do this by literally clipping out pictures or printing out pictures of furniture, rugs, decor items, and putting them all, pasting them on like a blank piece of paper or a poster board so I could see how they all um, went together, the colors, the textures, and it also allowed me to interchange, you know, different items, try different things out and see what it looks like. Um, but I've become more tech savvy since then and I now do it on my computer. So I'll show you kind of, or I will show you the vision board that I've started for our bedroom. I did this in Canva. If you're interested, it's so easy to use um, and I highly recommend it. It's, it's actually quite fun to play around with. So what I did was I found pictures similar to our current furniture items and lamps that we currently have because I'm not planning to change those things. Um, so I put those in here and I also found windows that look similar to what we have and curtains um, and rug for that matter. So I took everything we currently have and put that on the board. I changed the paint to um, the Sherwin-Williams paint that we're considering so I can see how it all looks together. And I, I really do like it. I think um, the white really pops against the, the blue background. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm having so much fun swapping out the different light fixtures here. Um, so this is the one that I think I'm most interested, which unfortunately is currently out of stock. But um, I think that would look really nice in this space. I love, I really am leaning more towards a black chandelier. But let's look, um, take a look at what the other ones would look like. Here is the uh, chandelier with the drum shade. And this one too is really pretty. Um, I think this one would also look perfect in the room. Um, and let's try this third one here. This is the more modern style one. And I do like that one too. This is why I have such a hard time making a decision. But let me know down below which of these three you guys like. I was also kind of considering this more bohemian looking uh, chandelier, but I don't know. I don't know if that's really the look I want to go with. I think it does look nice, but I don't know, I'm torn. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I'm also having fun swapping out the rugs. So I love the look of our current rug that we have, but I thought, what if I added something with more color? So here is this kind of more modern, uh, abstract looking rug, and it's got grays and creams. So if I take this rug and put this down instead, which I think looks really nice. And I also thought maybe I could add a blue rug. So here's this more vintage looking rug. So I'm gonna change its position and just kind of increase the size to move this in place. So I'm gonna pull it down here and then I'll put it behind the furniture items. Backwards, how come it's not working? There we go. And there you go, there's um, another option for a rug. But yeah, again, I did this in Canva. It's super easy if you guys are uh, want to create your own vision board. Um, it's also a lot of fun. Now for a little try on haul and excuse this mess behind me. Obviously I'm standing in my bedroom because this is the best place to do a try on haul. But all the items I'm gonna show you, I purchased from Pink Lily. They're an online boutique that I love. 
I've purchased from them for years and I always love sharing with you guys products that I love. So I thought this might give you some ideas of some summer spring outfits. And I love that this store, uh, their sizes range from small to plus size. So they have something for everyone, but go check them out because I really think they're a great company. They are based here in the US as well. Um, so the first item I'll show you is this blouse here that I'm wearing. And if you follow my channel, then you probably saw this in my last video because I wore it then, but I love this. I think it's such a fun top. It is a baby doll style, so it you know flares out. And I love that it has this little tie in the back and it does have smocking up on top. Um, the camera's not really picking up the detail. It has like a little white, uh, little white kind of leopard specks in it. And it does have smocking at the sleeves as well. I just think it's so cute and I can picture Wearing this during summertime with shorts, I think that would be adorable. This next top I feel can be worn for all seasons. It's such a pretty color. And I love how these sleeves are like these bell sleeves are just so pretty and flowy. And the back is just like that. It has like a little bit of elastic in the back. It doesn't go all the way around. And then it crisscrosses in the front and it does have a little button at the top. Um, to keep it closed but I think this is so pretty it's a um, kind of like a silky material yeah I just love this I love the looks of it and excuse me forgive me for constantly looking at the viewfinder but that is my mirror right now here's another adorable top I love that it's off the shoulders it does have like these flowy very airy sleeves with kind of like the ruffles at the um, cuff and this is just perfect spring summer you can wear this with a skirt with jeans uh, shorts pretty much anything i love that it does have an elastic um, at the waist if you want to wear it shorter you could if you want to make it longer you could do that however you want to wear it i feel like it's so versatile i just think this is so cute and i love how lightweight it is it's very kind of feels cool to the skin as well Last is this very pale peachy sweater. I think this is so comfortable. It's very breezy too. So if you wanted to wear it on like a cool summer day, I think that would be perfectly fine. This would look cute with skirts, jeans, shorts. I love that it's more of a cropped fit because I think that's just so slimming. And it does have the bell sleeve again. I'm just very much into kind of the bell sleeves lately but I think this is just such a cute top. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was definitely a different style from my typical videos, but let me know if you enjoyed the try on haul and if so, would you like to see more fashion try on hauls from me? And again, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. And if you have any other video suggestions, I am all ears. Leave them down below in the comments, but have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Take care.